I had several reasons to do clin clinical oncology. Um, I think probably the biggest reason was actually the patients. Uh, you won't find a more remarkable set of people to look after and really it's a privilege to be looking after them when they have cancer. Uh, the second part is that actually our Royal College is incredibly well organised. They look after our training from start to finish and I'd say that we are you know, very, very, very well supervised. Um, and the third reason is actually the radiotherapy. I think it can, it can be actually quite fun sitting in front of CT slices and outlining bits of tumour and putting beams on to, to determine how to plan the radiotherapy. So I think the radiotherapy as well as the patient aspect really brings together a dynamic speciality. People often ask is it hard to be an oncologist and I think it just belies that people don't understand what we do and that you know we're helping people and when people come to see us they're very scared, very frightened and very often they think that you know we're going to give them bad news and very often we give them good news and that's that makes it a much more uh, palatable job. I think it's a very exciting time to do clinical oncology, I don't know if you agree uh, Vicky, um, that uh, you know new advances coming through even in, you know you can read in the press uh, with drugs combining with radiation different forms of radiation like proton beams all coming through so there's a lot of um, opportunities for research uh, to expand your knowledge um, for the, the patients so I think it's a fantastic time to do clinical oncology. And I'm going to be going into a period of out program experience. Um, the training program's um, been really well structured and it's got lots of opportunities to be able to go out of program um, to either do a clinical fellowship or a formal period of research. Um, and I'm going to be going to do a PhD um, in about a month's time. And the college um, and the deanery have all given us quite good support in um, being able to organised for out of program experience so I'm really looking forward to it and I think overall it will improve um, my ability as a clinical oncologist. Um, so the reasons why I enjoy clinical oncology, um, I think number one it's uh, one of the most interesting and rapidly advancing areas of medicine. There's been all sorts of changes happening both in terms of radiotherapy treatment and molecular medicine that have happened over the last 10 years. So I think we're at a really exciting sort of cusp of um, practice changing. The second thing is the staff. So we get to work with people who have a real mission for what they do. So the chemo nurses, the radiographers, um, the secretaries, everyone has um, a strong calling or sense of responsibility for working with patients because they feel that what they do matters. And working with people like that is just lovely. Everyone is prepared to, or nearly everyone is prepared to go the extra mile. Um, and that makes your working life better. For me, it was I really enjoy working within a team. So the idea of MDTs really appealed to me. And I think we, very fortunate in that generally we get to know our patients quite well and we tailor our management plans specifically to the type of to the to the, what the patient wants and what's important for the patient and to me that's really important. The people diagnosed with <coughs> cancer and it's a real privilege to be the person who guides them through kind of the lowest end of their life. And it sounds kind of perhaps a, a little bit cheesy in a sense but I really think that's very true really to be the person who perhaps even breaks the news and initiates treatment and, and walks them through kind of what can be the you know, toughest treatment they've ever had, through kind of a, um, a response, cure, and then possibly relapse and even then the kind of latter part of their, their life. It's a real privilege and something which kind of, uh, I was really getting drawn to. But certainly then if you combine all the other factors like the, the exciting technology, the, the dark art of radiotherapy, I mean, essentially it comes down to what is isn't there type of oncology and why would you choose anything else? So clinical oncology is really great because it mixes a bunch of different things that I enjoy in medicine. One being that it's on the cutting edge of technology, it's always interesting in terms of the science, and you get to keep that patient contact and continuity of care that I think is missing from a lot of acute specialties um, in this day and age. Um, and that shows in particular when you're in clinic and you get to follow up your, the same patients again, you build up a really good relationship with them. There's no risk of getting bored in oncology. And in clinical, cl clinical oncology, it offers, I guess, the same kind of variation in, in a day-to-day -day job in that you've got the radiotherapy. For us, we've got chemotherapy and uh, anti-cancer anti agents of various sorts. And then you've got the patient contact. And a lot of um, contact with 
people that I perhaps didn't expect, like the, the Ready Offers. Yeah, who were an incredible source of um, just amazing people. Uh, and, I, and I guess oncology for me also um, puts you into contact with, with a whole set of individuals, um, not only the patients who are pretty inspiring at times because of what they're going through, and uh, but also the, the other professionals that you come into contact with who are often very holistic, holistically, have a good holistic approach and uh, just generally really nice people. So it's, it's a pleasure. Yeah.